Hi, this is Mohammed Nizar, a chief embryologist, working as an embryologist for more than two decades. What is my um, observation throughout the years? Uh, there is a rise in infertility in India. It's not only in India, uh, throughout the world. It's a global, global issue. What is the reason? The reason is very simple. The reason is pollution, poor lifestyle, poor health conditions, stress, obesity, poor food habits. And this is contributing to this issue. The other day I was listening to one uh, famous pul pulmonologist who, 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 is, who does surgeries. Um, uh, he was explaining uh, about the lung qualities. Even non-smokers are getting poor quality or infected lungs. They used to see in early 80s, they used to see uh, poor quality of lungs in smokers, chronic smokers. Now it is not the case because of pollutions, our lungs also getting spoiled. Now as an embryologist, we are also seeing abnormal parameters in a semen, oligoasthenoteratosuspomia and morphology, poor morphology. Morphology is a shape of the sperm where you have a genetic material and a DNA. So basically, uh, as a WHO criteria, 1.5 ml volume, 15, 15 million count and 40% uh, um, motility and 4% morphology. So we are seeing deterioration of uh, uh, sperm parameters in uh, males, young, even young males are uh, middle-aged men are from 20 to 35 or 40, 45. We are seeing the same problem, mostly morphological problem because of the pollution and poor uh, uh, polluted water and polluted food and polluted uh, environment, the DNA is getting damaged. I mean, most of the time we are seeing the damage in a DNA. So the the best thing we what we can do is to have a healthy lifestyle good food healthy habits workout yoga or some um, some work, some physical activities so also as an embryologist we have we are having uh, intracytoplasmic technique where uh, the, the the millions of couples are benefited with this technique uh, with male infertility even if you have a few sperms you can achieve fertilization and followed by embryo then embryo can be uh, transferred to the uterus and followed by a healthy baby and by this there, there are a lot of uh, couples who have benefited with this technique throughout the world